Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a farcical couple in love that loves reacting to some fallout. Okay, I like it. <laughs> yeah, something new for today. Something and new. so if you want all of our fallout reactions, check out the description of this video for a playlist. And if you want early ad free access, you can get it by joining our YouTube membership. There's a little join button down below. Or you can also uh, join our Patreon and, uh, and get access that way. Yeah, there are a few options for you. Yep, whatever, whatever you fancy. Okay. Are you ready to do this? In fact, you would like you to move his foot so that he can come up here with his emoji. Okay. It's a boy in his emoji. Yeah. So if their vault was a meritocracy, I wonder what the other two vaults were, since they like to do different, different experiments. Mmm. Fascist vault. Let's go, Sonic. Oh. It's so good for you. Oh, go hell freaking no. <laughs> That's worse than like the oh. finger monster and. Kill me in the first wave. Mm -hmm. What disturbing show they're gonna find? Hey, Raj. Hey. <laughs> Fancy seeing you out here. You out for that bounty too, huh? Yep. So this is what happens when you don't have drugs. Shit. How you feeling? No, oh, you know it's hard out here. Taking smoothies can be so unkind. But then you got a smoothie of your own. Smoothies? No, that's not. Turn it. Maybe. <laughs> you, you don't have to have any vials, do you? One little puff, and I'll be back on my feet. You don't look for it. I'm sorry, Roger. I'm all out. That's okay. The one, you and your smooth faced friend, might want to clear out before things get ugly. Ooh, he was just going to control himself. I did okay. 28 years since I first started showing. <laughs> Not as long as you, though. <laughs> You've outlasted us all. How long since you first started wastelanding? A long time. That's a lot of vials. Well, I've always been good at making money, Roger. Say, remember how good food used to taste? Uh, Blamco mac and cheese. Ice cream and apple pie. <laughs> Ah, damn! Apple pie! <laughs> you know, my mom used to... Oh, give him one last happy memory before he puts him out of his misery. Yeah. Why? Why'd you do that? Are you sick? Stop, 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 please! I... No, I know it's hard up here, but you don't, you don't have, you don't have to resort to. What did you say your name was? Lucy McLean. John McLean's daughter. McLean. Great, 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 great. Well, Lucy McLean, it ain't all canned peaches and marmalade left up here, sweetheart. Sometimes fellas gotta eat a fire. Mm -hmm. You know, my vault has endured hardship, too. In the Great Plague of 77, everyone had to quarantine. They couldn't work the farms together. People starved, my mother included. My dad dropped to 128 pounds, and he still refused to do anything like this. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Well, as what people say they did and what they really did. Well, I bet your daddy was first in line at the cookout. I bet he had a bill with a drawing of his neighbor's ass on there. How do you live like this? Why keep going? Well, one good question deserves another. Why the fuck am I doing all the work? Now, come on, Vaulty. Ass jerky don't make itself. Ass jerky? Ooh. Nice. Hello, ladies. How are you? The editing in this is just Hello, uh, on point. We're all just fine, just fine. Morning, Woody. Morning, Reg. Nice work on your posters. Well, thanks, Reg. I've been admiring yours as well. Any luck? I asked him all sorts of questions. Who he is, who he works for, why his colleagues kidnapped Overseer McLean, what organizing principle, if any, they operate under. Nothing, huh? 200 years with no contact. The terrible things this creature must have been through. What's he doing? Oh, no. Sir, please stop. You will injure yourself. Fuck you. We better trank him again. For his own safety. We'll try again tomorrow. 
There you are. Thought you might be up here. Made pie, if you'd like a piece. Never turned down pie. I was there the first time that you tried rhubarb pie and ice cream. You sure did like pie that day. You came here to talk to me about what I said at the assembly. And why do you think that is? It upset people. You don't like it when people get upset. But you do. You're not the only one that feels the absence of your father. People here are hurting, disoriented. And with your sister gone, you're the last standing McLean. Your voice carries more weight than you might realize. I hid during the raid. I got into storage space and I hid. Does that make you angry? Yeah, and ashamed. Why does it matter? Regular boys can get angry and they'll just pee on the wall. And clever boys like you are angry. You're lucky not to have seen where that can lead. Just tread lightly. That's all I ask. I like that when clever boys like you get angry. Oh, ass jerky. Necessary action hero. You know she's not going anywhere. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You ain't going nowhere. Oh! Ah! There you are, you little killer. Oh shit! God, so he, slowly, he's too. all about the eye for an eye. Now that right there is the closest thing we've had to an honest exchange so far. Oh. She took her like a fucking champ to get her finger cut. Like she barely screamed. Yeah. <laughs> this poor guy. Hey. Hey. I thought I'd just stop by and see how you're doing. Not great, to be honest. First I lost Lucy, and then I lost my job as the gatekeeper. Right. How are you handling the uh, death of the father of your unborn baby? Same. <laughs> I was actually just organizing some of Bert's things, and, well, I thought maybe you might want some of them. A this picture of Bert? That's left of him. He was a good man, Steph. You think so? Of course. I mean, what can you say? He took great care of his shoes. You know, it was one of the few things he truly loved. <laughs> Get him shoes? talking about shoe maintenance, and he, he'd just carry on until everyone left the room. <laughs> I loved him so much. And those monsters <laughs> took him away from me. Awful. I hate those guys. <laughs> it would mean a lot to me if you took Bert's shoes. Wow. They're tiny. Thank you, Steph. I'll try to wear them. Oh, <laughs> good. And this. Oh, oh Bert. <laughs> oh, Bert. <laughs> oh, Bert. Oh, yeah. Bert. Can't figure this is where I always had it. Leave it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay. That was fantastic. <laughs> oh, super duper Mario. Transaction? Yes? Two months supply of owls, exchange one female, mint condition. Condition grading requires physical evaluation. Please send her in. What's in there? You're about to find out. You're selling me? You say he's gonna make money. You got problems out here too, sweetheart. Best you try your luck behind that door. OK. 
Okay then. Welcome. What the fudge? Fudge. <laughs> There's no fudge here. Only a General Atomics International Mark IV. That's what I am. You seem to be a woman. Please, sir. My name is Lucy McLean. My dad's been taken, and I, I, I've been kidnapped. And he, he's, he's right outside. I say you've lost a finger. Ah, that won't do at all. Let's get you taken care of. Follow me. I think the ghoul still has it, so she can't reattach it. Would you mind taking a seat on that gurney in front of you? Now, what have we here? Oh my god! Too fat, too withered. Ah, this one will do it. Now you're lucky I don't have to use a thumb. Our finger infantry is in a sorry state. If you give me your hand, okay, you're going to feel a slight pinch. I really do appreciate this. A big fish ate my head, and I need my head to get back my dad. A big fish That's ate my head. That's much better, isn't it? Thank you. Not a problem. That feels really, really nice. Now, would you prefer a dressing of high-quality synthetic fibers, classic cotton, or a comforting synthetic cotton blend? You have real cotton? Of course. Don't you? Thank you. You know, that creature that brought me here, he... You seem unhappy. He did not treat me very courteously. Really? <laughs> when I pointed out that he wasn't following the golden rule, he put a leash around my neck and he made me drink from puddle water that I'm pretty sure was just some kind of animal pee. Well, that <laughs> is interesting. I mean, I thought I was here to be a sex slave. What? No! What a disgusting idea! Something much worse. I'm going to harvest your organs. Huh. Then why even put the finger on? <laughs> We're all for her address. Is it the wedding cake still? Hey, Dom. Veronica. Wait, they're getting jello cake? Those are my orders. I wonder what your dad would say about this. He'd be handing them the cake himself. Yeah, he was a saint. Do you want it? Mm. Nobody's gonna know. I'm gonna put this in my fridge. <laughs> Mark. What are you looking at? Dead man. A murderer in a cage? Paying the price for what you did to us. For what you did to the innocent people in Vault 32. I don't know what the people of Vault 32 were up to, but it was anything but innocent. Huh. Of course. Norm. <laughs> Hi. Feel like getting out of the house? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was messing with me, but one of the raiders told me there was something up at 32. Uh-huh. Well, this isn't exactly fun for me, Norm. You know why'd you come? To be honest, I don't know. You don't think it's because you're still in love with my sister and being around me reminds you of her? <laughs> this is so wrong. Come on. You have to see this. You've already lost your position as gatekeeper, so be up this. You're gonna get one of your questions answered, Hansel. Mm -hmm. You see? Whatever happened here happened a long time ago. Oh! Oh my god. So what happens when you lose. The last biosignal detected was two years ago. Does it say behind them? It's true. dead when the Raiders got here. Who killed them? I mean, it looks like they strangled each other when with their hands. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't make any sense. Pardon the interruption. Our latest arrival has arrived. What are they asking, Snip Snip? 60 vials. We can do 60. Fantastic. Oh, do her now so she's ready for the next pickup. Excellent idea as always, sir. Thanks, Snip Snip. Do excuse me. Snip Snip. Sir, you can't do this. Please, I need my organs. Now, don't be afraid. A little snip snip and it will all be over. Um... No anesthesia or anything? Oh my god. Nope. Don't really care about comfort. Nice! Damn smart. Yeah. How are you gonna kill those two out there? Hands 
up. Do as I say and Snip Snip doesn't get hurt. It's a fucking robot. Yeah, you might as well be holding an air conditioner hostage. Well, an <laughs> air conditioner sounds nice, though. But yeah, an air conditioner would be a big deal, but you know what I mean. The question was, does she know what you mean? Yeah. I think I do. That's why I put a Braxo draining fluid in his syringes. Snip Snip, tell them what a Braxo does to the human body. If you've got a clog that's full of muck, trust a Braxo draining fluid to get it unstuck. It's very, very poisonous. OK, you can walk out of here. Not just me, them too. And the 60 vials. Good job, Lucy. Hey, thank you. Don't turn your back on them. Lady, those, those ones you don't understand. Don't be scared. You're free. Yeah, you just release the zombies. Oh, gosh. My name is Martha. That's right. Your name is Martha. Smiling. Okay. I think it's safe to say they went bananas. This still doesn't explain how the raiders got in on the outside. No. They need a pit boy to open the door. They had one. Who's? Oh. My mom's. The pup thickens. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lucy. The question is, are you going to save them? Do you want to tell the golden one? You don't get these. You turn into one of those. That how it works? I may end up looking like you. I'll never be like you. Golden rule, motherfucker. Be a little more careful with those. Right? It's one of his movies? Huh. But I can dream. Fuerte y formal means he was ugly, strong, and had dignity. Well, Joey. I'll give you two out of three on that front. I hope you like the taste of lead, you common son of a bitch. So I imagine that in the next episode, we're going to get a lot more Maximus since we didn't get any of him in this episode. Mm -hmm. um, I do like that more that we're uncovering what was in the other vaults. Uh, you know, having gotten to the to the bottom of it yet, but I like that, that I like where it's going. And that scene with Bert and uh, the guy pretending to be Bert and uh, his wife, that was hilarious. Oh, this was, this was a bit of a roller coaster, really for, mm -hmm. for an episode um, from like, hi. Big stretch. From the incredible uh, act of mercy and humanity to put the one ghoul mm -hmm. out of his misery, misery before he turned full zombie um followed by butt jerky which yeah man that was gruesome watching that mm -hmm. and then the the honest finger exchange all of that but then that scene with would be bert and his wife i mean it was just it was, it was a wild ride yeah a lot of craziness going on in this episode and um oh yeah i'm not here to <laughs> 
No, you won't be raped. You're just gonna be you're just gonna get your organs harvested. Yeah, yeah, just that. yeah. It's fine. Lucy continues to be a badass. Didn't know how she was gonna get out of it. Obviously, there was a lot of luck involved uh, in that. Um, but still, like to grab the paddles and shock it, and then to be able to use the robot to like as a weapon to get out of there. But hopefully, she's learning that you know you don't know everything. So she wanted. She showed uh, she showed some humanity, and that, that was great that she let all the ghouls out, but then the ones that were too far gone, like now at least now she knows uh, what to expect. And the mystery of her mom. Mm-hmm. So somehow the people on the outside accessed Vault 32 with her mom's clearance code or, or whatever it is. Um, well, yeah, they, and do they access that vault or they access... Uh, th- okay. So was that the access of their vault or was that the access of the outside vault? That was how the outsiders got into vault 32. Okay. So does that mean that their mom is alive? These are questions. Yes, they are. They're questions that uh, they need to get answered. Um, just love the fact that this show blends like the the humor and with the, you know, the violence and the brutality of, of this world. Um, and now like the, the mystery and intrigue that we got going on as far as what was going on with vault 32, what's going on with the... Uh, their mom, what are they going to end up doing with the prisoners? Well, the one thing that our ghoul cowboy said about um, Lucy's dad, like, oh, yeah, I bet you think your dad did all those things, but I bet, you know, he was really up to something else. Mm-hmm. Well, that might sync with their mom being suddenly on the outside. I mean, because Lucy doesn't seem to have, at least none of the memories we've seen of Lucy's mom include Lucy's mom looking unwell starving, any of these things. Yeah. So um, you would think if her mom had been sick and starving because of the farming famine or whatever it was that they said they had, um, some of those memories would be there as well. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously not the ones that you want to dwell on, but some of the ones that would be pretty, I would think, seared into your brain from the trauma. So was it like an access code, like a key card? Or was it an access code, like something you had to enter in? Or it's like a, key- an, a retinal scan. Like, do they need a piece of her? Yeah, because like you know, some of those you don't. She doesn't need to be alive. She doesn't need to be a willing participant in it. True. But if it's like a code that you need to like enter in, then she would have had to give give them that code in order to for it to happen, which means that she would have to be aligned with them. Um, or she was tortured until she gave it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the other option too. Which, I mean, if you grow up in that vault, then I don't think you're gonna be. I mean, Lucy's proved, I guess, that you can't be like super strong and uh, and badass, but I think that's she's like, you know, an anomaly as far as like a vault dweller would go. I wouldn't expect many of them to survive long in the outside world. Mm-hmm. So if you want to get ahead a couple episodes then go ahead and check out Patreon or hit the join button down below to join our YouTube membership. And thanks so much for seeing our reaction for Fallout episode four, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.